Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alan Sams. Um, today we're going to take a look at a really cool bass. This is the Fender Aerodyne Jazz Bass. Back in the early 2000s, I had one of the uh, one of the black ones that came out. Uh, it was made in Japan, very lightweight. It was a PJ uh, configuration, uh, smoked out hardware. It was, it was a really nice bass. For some reason, I sold that bass. I mean, you know, like we do, um, and I kind of regretted it, but moved on. And then I was really happy to see when this edition of, of uh, the Aerodynes came out when they re-released these. These are made in Japan, like the original ones were. It has the now. This is obviously just two single coil pickups in it, but you've got two Aerodyne single coil jazz pickups here with a very easy electronic configuration, pickup volume, pickup volume, tone, just like any other passive jazz bass uh, that you would play. It has a uh, maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. You've got 20 frets. Now, I wasn't expecting this, but when I got this bass in, in the packet or in the pouch, it came with a little card that explained that these are Godot tuners. So you get Godot tuners on here, and they hold tune fine. They nice, smooth action with them. The QC work on this bass is fantastic. There is not even a hint of fret sprout, which is great. It's got a satin finish on the neck. Uh, so it's a C-shaped jazz neck. So you've got, you know, you, you taper off more towards the headstock. But it's also got a satin fish to it, so it's nice and fast. Um, Chocolate Burst, is, this finish comes in several different finishes. I really like the binding that they put on here. I think it looks very, very classy. And it's got a Babix bridge on here, um, which is a nice heavy-duty uh, bridge. The original ones... They just have a standard Fender, you know, a Fender bass bridge, Fender jazz, you know, jazz bridge, what have you. Um, nothing fancy about them. So that's nice to see. Uh, the price right now, from what I saw at Sweetwater, they're um, they're selling them for like right around a thousand dollars right now. Uh, if you keep an eye on it, though, Fender recently, I'm not sure what's going on with Fender, but recently they've been cutting their prices back a bit. Um, and I caught this one for considerably under $1,000, so I was happy about that. Anyway, enough yakking. Let's take a listen to it. Thank you. 
So my final thoughts on the uh, Fender Aerodyne Jazz Bass. I think it's a great bass. Uh, I think aesthetically it's a beautiful bass. Um, it's also one that I gig with. Um, I use it for in a live setting. I use it uh, for alternate tunings uh, and some some slap work. Um, I think it's uh, it's a lot of fun to play, and uh, it's I'd certainly recommend it. It's lightweight. It plays good, and right now you can catch them at a good price. So what's what's there not to like? As always, guys, I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And uh, until time, next time, take care.